Pinellas County attorney who investigators say pocketed close to a million dollars of client settlement money remains locked up tonight. And we are hearing from some of his alleged victims for the very first time. News Channelist Jack Royer joining us from our Tampa newsroom with their stories. Jack? Keith, Jen, good evening. I spoke to three of the people who allege Christopher Reynolds duped them, stole their settlement money, and left them on the hook for medical bills they thought they wouldn't owe. And they all have one thing in common. I was in a car accident. I was hit by a drunk driver. I was in an accident and uh, sought legal representation just to <clears throat> cover myself and um, make sure I wasn't going to be taken advantage of. But all three of these people were taken advantage of, they say, by Christopher Reynolds, who they hired to help them. What did you feel? Anger. Yeah, uh, angry, a little sad because uh, for me, like he knew my dad from like high school and stuff. They say Reynolds had a good reputation, positive reviews, and made them feel confident about their cases until something seemed wrong. My medical providers reached out to me and they yeah, asked me if I was able to reach out to him. When they reached out to another attorney, they found out their claims had been paid, but they had no idea. And now they find themselves sitting there being told your case was settled without your knowledge and you may be on the hook for the medical bills. Reynolds was arrested Monday. In December, the Florida Bar asked the state Supreme Court to suspend him, which they did nine days later. The Florida Bar said in court filings that Reynolds' trust account, in which lawyers take in settlement funds before they're distributed, had balances totaling less than $1,000. And so he was taking the money into his Florida Bar required IOTA account and then just transferring it out uh, into a personal account with the same bank. I'm just shocked. I, I've never been through anything like this. What would you want to say to him right now? Just how, how can you do this to someone, someone who's been through so much and has already been a victim to, to victimize them even further after what they've gone through? It's just, it's, uh, it's inhumane. Reynolds was booked into the Pinellas County Jail yesterday. We've learned tonight, though, his bond amount has now increased. It's now close to $2.5 million. Live in the News Center, Jack Royer, 8 on your side.